Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Day 4, the final day in mixed media play currently because when you see this, the next day I'm leaving and I already have that day filmed. Now, this is the last day of present times filming. Um, I have filmed quite a few, maybe like 8 videos ahead of schedule and they're all scheduled ready to go. So, theoretically that should all work fine. But I did not want to do this. I did do this in real time. So you're going to see my hands wandering around like I'm talking to you. But the dog started barking quite a bit. Um, and this is wish, wit, wiki, witchy, witchy, witchy questions because there's a word witch in there and a question mark. That was all unintentional. And I didn't even see the word witch until I was almost done yesterday. But what we're going to try to do is use this as an exercise and recreate this again almost recreate it with other products same products but no paper so i'm going to put i'm going to color block a piece of paper in that looks like this and then maybe add a little bit of the doodling also i was going to use that but that's too blue so um, and I was examining this and talking to you about the words. This is a medical journal that my husband found in a trash can in his old office suite of offices that they had other businesses in there. And he brought it home because, you know, all good husbands of paper hoarders do that for their wives. Yes, he is that that kind, although he has a very crazy dog. Um, anyhow, <clears throat> Um, I was looking, I was in the W, so I was looking to see if there was something about witch in this, but there wasn't. Um, there was wart, I think. Um, <clears throat> so, anyhow, I'm getting out. <clears throat> sorry, I have a frog in my throat. I'm sorry. Um, I've been up since 2 o'clock. Don't ask me why. It's the early flight jitters that I get. Um, flying is not fun anymore, so it just, plus I've never been on a flight from my longest flight. <clears throat> was 12 hours and I took an Ambien and I slept the entire time. So when I got to Israel, I was very refreshed and ready to go, but I was stiff because I'd never moved. The people that were sitting next to me were on our tour and they're like, we thought you had died. I'm like, well, thanks for getting the stewardess and see if she could wake me up. But no, no longer do I take Ambien. I have done some crazy things on Ambien. Um, <clears throat> For new people, I made an entire head of cabbage because I wanted to make my own, um, oh, what is the Korean spicy cabbage that they put in a jar and ferments? Anyhow, I wanted to make my own of that. So I had a head of cabbage as one does in the refrigerator and I cut it with a large, large, very sharp butcher knife and left it all out on the counter <laughs> when my husband got up the next morning. He's like, what the heck went on here? He didn't even know I was missing out of the bed, of course. Um, but I got up the next morning and I came out here and I'm like, why is there cabbage all over the counter? And he goes, I don't know. You tell me. He said, you did that in the middle of the night. Like I was sleeping. He goes, apparently not all the time. Um, kimchi, kimchi. I was making my own kimchi. Never have had kimchi yet. Maybe in Vietnam. Do they have Vietnam kimchi? I don't know. Anyhow, <clears throat> so I don't take Ambien anymore. I almost died because I took it one time and then my husband started hiding the bottle from me because I would take more than one um, in my sleep. I didn't know I was taking it and he hit the bottle in the car in the pocket of like your door in the car and I found it. I don't know how and I took like 15 of them. So in the middle of the night. So Ambien is completely off limits to me. Um, <clears throat> but um Anyhow, so this time I can't sleep on the plane um, unless I actually fall asleep, which is very hard to do. My husband can sleep on a plane. I can't sleep on a plane. Um, so we'll see. So anyhow, all of that to say, um, I'm just blocking in color here and using paint, using Stabilo's, using tempera sticks. Um, and just getting the kind of shade or color that I want um, in the right spot. trying to soothe my voice sorry um anyhow and it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be an exact rep replica I don't want it to be um I'm, I'm trying to do this slightly fast it took me about 20 minutes I shortened this video um to try to get it up because sometimes on Fridays it's hard to upload but um uh 
anyhow, so it, anyhow, anyhow, this is just an exercise that I created for myself to try to replicate this piece of paper. Um, Kirchie, I loved your picture of the bridge and that looks like the Golden Gate Bridge color. Um, and also the bottom of it kind of, it was really cool to see that. Really cool. I'll try to send you pictures. I don't know, both my phone though has 14,000 pictures on it and I'm trying to delete them and put them on a um, USB card, but I'm having issues. And now, I don't know, I don't know. Anyhow, that might be my project on the plane. <laughs> Maybe it'll be so boring it'll send me to sleep. There are tons of things I could delete. I don't have to save. I just, I really want to save pictures of family and trips. The quilts and the artwork that I have on here are in other places. So I can grab those again if I want them. Um, and then there's a lot of stuff that I play with on Procreate that is just like works in progress that can be deleted. Anyhow, that's neither here nor there either for you. So some of this paper is wet. Some of it is dry. Some of it is got wet paint on it. Um, the Stabilos do not come out wet unless you wet them with the paintbrush. Now the tempera sticks come out wet, but they dry in about five minutes. Not immediately, but they do dry relatively fast. But in the end, this was kind of fun. Um, I've never done something like this where I replicated something I did the next, the previous day. Um, and it was a, a, a very fun exercise. And I'm glad I tried this. Um, and, and I'm glad I moved fast. So, I mean, obviously this isn't like a Van Gogh. You need to move fast on these kind of things. Um, if you overthink it, it becomes a problem. I think as according to what I, my sister-in-law told me the other night, she doesn't, she's not a big fan of moving fast on anything. They research and research and research everything. Ken and I are so totally opposite, which could lead to some problems, but sometimes, you know, I mean, they ha they ha literally took a year to study barbecue restaurants and um, go to different ones. And then they, she had notes about all of them and which ones they liked and which ones they didn't like. She saved newspaper articles. She said, I mean, just, I had it. My mom had an aunt like that. So she was my great aunt. She used to do that before the internet was around. She would research countries. They traveled a lot. I could have gone to Russia. I could have gone to Russia with them when I graduated from high school. That was another option. Either come here or my aunt and uncle had temp tentatively questioned my parents on they were going to Russia that summer. And do you think we could take Beth? And um, we would not keep her there the whole time. They were going to stay like a month and I would stay about a week or something. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to travel with them because they were much older, obviously, my grandmother's age, and um, uh, did I want to do that? But I'm like, oh man, the opportunity to have gone to Russia. Mm. Well, anyhow, but it, life brings you what you need because I wouldn't have gotten here and I wouldn't have had marriage number one, which wouldn't have brought me to marriage number two. And marriage number two brought me this wonderful dog that I had to do a voiceover because he's barking in the background this entire time on this video. I was going to leave it in there, just call it life, but I know that hurts some people's ears. So another life tangent I went on. Um, don't you steal my socks. My suitcase is packed open, but packed in the corner of the couch in our bedroom, and he's trying to steal the socks out of it. Anyhow, I, I think I'm nervously ranting, not nervously ranting, nervously chattering about nothing here, um, but... I took the background and I went in with gray. Um, on the other one, I went in with yellow. Hi, do you need to come up here? Is your daddy gone? He's only gone to a men's breakfast. He'll be back in about 40 minutes, okay? Is that too long for you? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Anyhow, I really, really do like, this is a great exercise. I need to do more of these. Um, future self, tell your current self to do more of these. Fun, fun. Um... I, I mean, I could get out a magazine and kind of block in color uh, on an article or something that, that a picture of somebody. I knew, I do have an architectural digest. Hmm. Maybe I'll do something like that. I don't know. Anyhow. All right. Thanks for watching. I will be posting in the past from now on for the next 12 days or so. Um, and if there is a gap, it's only because I have jet lag and I'll be back. Don't worry. Um, really, really like how this turned out. 
the tan corner is problematic, but it's still super wet. So we're going to leave it like that. And there's writing underneath that comes through. So it's not too bad. Look at there. I kind of like this. Thanks for watching. See you all when I get back from Vietnam.